Welcome back to Process Mining Explained. Rudy, always good to see you. You've showed us how it can discover. You, you showed us how it can monitor. Show us how it can act. Yeah, acting. Acting is a good one, you know, because process mining, I always tell people that process mining is like an X-ray system or business process. And I think I used this picture with you before. But now, you know, once we discover that there's a problem, we need to act. And acting really is the real power in process mining in combination with RPA. So again, you know, when you look at my screen here, we are in the third quarter. We discovered that, um, you know, the process was automated. We really reduced the throughput time. We reduced the, the cost. So is everything perfect? Well, unfortunately, it's not. You know, when I switch to my conformance dashboard here, and let me remove the filter for the five most common variants, here we can see that even in the third quarter, we have some SLA violations. So what does it mean? You know, mm -hmm. this company expected every invoice to be processed within 30 days. And unfortunately, we didn't make it. I mean, it's great to see that we came down from over 500 to only 130. That's a great, great accomplishment. But, you know, being typically German, I would say that 130 SLA violations are 130 too many. So how can we use, you know, the power of process mining and RPA to resolve issues like this? And for that, I want to show you a slightly different example. So I switch back to my last day of my data. And here on the 30th of October, we can see, you know, we paid only 14 invoices that day, but one invoice for whatever reason managed to bypass the mandatory approval step. And you know, that's not okay. We, 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 I can't live with that. So I, first of all, I need to find out what's happened, what happened. So I click on it, I approve my selection and I go to the details of this one invoice, you know, and when we look at the details, we can see, Okay, it was a small invoice, only 449 bucks, and Rebecca Love, she was responsible. And if you look down here at this, this detailed chart, it was a fully automated process, but what is missing is the approval step. Well, you know, typically this would be discovered every time we process the invoice because we have this, this tagging built in and it automatically checks all the data every time we process it. And, but you know, we don't have the time to wait until tomorrow. So this is why I added another dashboard and here is my additional dashboard with a magic button. And for now, you know, let me switch back to my action center. Here, this action center, it's like a to-do list. That's another part, another tool in our toolbox for RPA. And it's like a to-do list. And you see it's empty. But when I go back and I push this magic button, you know, again, this button normally doesn't exist because the system will do it automatically overnight, but I don't want you to wait until tomorrow. So now I push the button, I go back, and I refresh this page. And here now we can see after a few seconds, when I switch to unassigned, we can see there's one case. This is one new case. And this was created a few seconds ago when I pushed the button. So again, we see Rebecca Love, she was responsible for $449. Yeah, so what can we do? Well, of course, first I need to assign this case to myself because I want to resolve it. And you know, there's this one button here open in SAP. So if I would click on this button, then SAP would come up, I would be locked in and I could approve this invoice manually. But man, come on, why should we waste five times, uh, five minutes of our time? So instead of you know doing this manually, I can click on approve just to send one of my bots to do the job for me. And all I need to do is just to confirm or that this action is completed. I click on complete and I come back to a beautiful empty to-do list again. And that's you know, how we use process mining in combination with our RPA platform, not only to discover the potential and to monitor the impact, but also to react in cases where not everything might be perfect from the beginning. That's what it is. So process mining fully integrated with the UiPath platform. And remember folks, if you want an empty to-do list, use process mining and the Action Center. Rudy, thank you so much for sharing with us and we'll see y'all next time.